Hello everybody and welcome back to my time on Porsche where today DD cars, please be DD cars, but if not then we'll just do uh, some mini games to get Journey for the East for Albert to give to Ginger or we can just give it to Ginger or whatever needs to happen to it, I'm not sure. And uh, hand in those topazes to Ginger too. Oh, here we are. From the town hall. Sheilab, come see me sometime. I have a commission lined up for you. Yes, it's also a Monday, so uh, there's going to be commissions in the Commerce Guild as well. Very nice. Hello, Pinky. Good morning. How are you? Mow, mow. Mow. Mow, mow. If it yeah, talks people like enough. Always losing food items in our restaurant recently. Ooh, some more. Some more stuff. Let's get in here. Oh, everyone's out and about this morning to say hello to you. Oh. The house seems to have been broken in by a thief. It is none of your business. Everyone's got oh. new lines about that. That's pretty awesome. You want one umbrella? Well, you can just have bacon fish rolls. Doesn't matter about umbrellas. See, Mayor Gale is kind of going into his office, so we'll, we'll pop by there in a minute. Let's get our commission first. There's a couple of things to do today, actually. So they're all C ranked now. Dark coffee table. I don't know if I can make those yet. I probably can. Trap box. Photo album. I'm going to try and make the coffee table. I hope that's not too difficult. I don't remember them being particularly difficult, but then, like, when you have all the resources in the world, nothing seems particularly difficult, so... Have a look at the... Going the wrong way, Sheila. Going the wrong way. Okay, so... I would like to get into the hazardous ruins today, if I can. Oh, it's not open till nine? What? There's apparently some kind of commission for me around here. From Mars. Ah, hey. okay. Fish for dinner. Even though we live right by the sea, I haven't eaten any fish in weeks. Every day I have to look after my shop, so I can't go fishing. Can you bring me some? You go to bed at like 8 o'clock at night. I have no sympathy. <laughs> sure, they. What kind of fish do you want? Let's have a look. Two catfish. I think I can manage that. I think that one's a little late in the in the day, really, isn't it? The timing on that seems a little late because I'm so far advanced compared to what that mission is asking me to do. It seems like an early game one, really. All right, we're going to see Mayor Gale as well. Thanks for coming. I've been real busy lately trying to figure out who the town thief is. I heard about that. I've never seen anything like it. It's so strange. He's not stealing anything essential, just random trinkets. The fools Huss and Tusk show up once in a while, and but they are more interested in big money items. We'll capture him for sure. We're kind folks here, but we'll still uphold our laws. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough about the thief. I asked you to come because I want to further develop the cave on Amber Island. Okay. That cave used to lead to a ruin, but due to an accident, the entrance was closed. Th this was some 40 years ago. Since then, there's been various rumors of it being haunted, which is nonsense. But I think it's about time we used it in our favor. The Haunted Cave of Portia. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? There used to be a power generator in there somewhere. I'm commissioning you to fix it up and give it some juice. Okay. Marlo tells me. Oh, he was going to say that. Sorry, I clicked and it came up. It's weird. Arlo tells me we'll need to install a removable battery, so go do that. Then I'll get one of the Hulu brothers to get that place running. Ah, this will be a fine tourist attraction. That will be Lua's job, no doubt. I have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff is timed as well. So I'm going to go through my mission journal and have a look at what needs to be done first. 
So the cave on Amber Island doesn't have any kind of uh, time limit to it. However, the quicker I start, I get it done, the quicker I can get the DD quest and stuff like that, I guess. Fish for dinner, I've got a week. Nine days on that, but I want to do it today if I can. That's got 12 days. That's got three days. Okay. So I would say that what I want to do now is to start on the dark coffee table and then set, giving those topazes to Ginger. I think those are the two most important things to do. I'll take a look at all of my... We all depleted on like every single one of them. Lovely. That's what I need. I do seem to have a reasonable amount of wood at the moment, but I don't think that's going to last forever. No, it didn't last very long at all. That one's crafting completed, so I'm just going to make another 10 bronze bars on that one, and I will need to get some more fuel for the other two. Rats. Let's have a look at the dark coffee table then. Ah, two more copper pipes and then that. Yeah, okay, that's not so bad. I could do with more, but I'm a little low on copper at the moment. Um, mm, I could wait until later to find Ginger because she's often out and about. So I think I'll cut down some trees and get my furnaces running again. And I also want to have a look at what to do, what I need to make all the different swords and what I have on me that I can you know, do. Whether I need to just go in with a practice sword. I might need to go in with a practice sword. That might be the best of, the best I have at the moment, you know. Okay, lovely. I am level 16. Well, I'd forgotten how quickly the levels actually actually come through. They're really, really fast until a certain point and then they really slow down. But by then you can pretty much do everything so it doesn't matter. Right, that should be enough at least for a little bit of refueling to happen. Okay, that one's well, it's fuel depleted. I am making a lot of uh, of bars of stuff though, so it's not surprising I'll need a lot of wood for this. I am at the point though where I'm getting a bit fed up with the whole like furnaces around the back of the house thing. I may do what I normally do and move the house right into the corner or into the middle of the... Uh, the place would make it a bit easier to to deal with, wouldn't it? Honestly, in the corner is probably going to be better. So what I want to do for that then is to move all of these out of the way. It's not even a worry. I'll fiddle about with them later, like where they're actually going. So I just try and get them out of the way, and then push that back, push that back, push that back into the corner. I'll move all of them because sometimes it has a bit of a funny five minutes. It's actually a bigger footprint than it looks. Okay, let's go and squiggle it about. And by the time I'm done squiggling, I'll probably have the stuff for the dark coffee table. Squiggling is a technical term. Look at me running straight to A&G's instead of into the Commerce Guild. Woohoo! My home has reached level 2. The wedding function has been unlocked. 
Oh wow, level four, the children. Wow, okay. So we've got that right in the corner there. Which is gonna allow me a little bit of space in front of it, a little bit of space around to the side of it. Um, and then the work table, I would like moved back into the corner there. And the assembly station back into the corner there as well. Just to give me as much um, much room in the middle as possible. I could put all my furnaces in the middle or something or I don't really know. It's nice not to have storage in the middle. That's a very big improvement on the on the last time. Last time I had chests everywhere but now I don't have to because I could just put them all inside which is great. Albert, have I given you a present today? A pot of Asteria? Oh, well, it's unfortunate that I don't have access to any Asteria, but here, have some soup as a consolation prize. I know, I'm very nice. Okay, so in my missions, I don't, I think I've got three pinned. Umbrella cave. Build the power generator. So that's something I'm going to have to do in a minute. Before I even get in there and start fighting stuff. Hmm, interesting. I want to have a look at what I need to do to upgrade my sword before it gets too late in the day in case I need extra upgrade kits or something. Okay, so... Bronze sword would need one upgrade kit. An iron sword would need no upgrade kits, but it would need 15 iron bars and four animal bones. I don't have any animal bones and I would need to loot before I could do that. An enhanced bronze sword would need teeth. And a bronze sword plus an extra five bronze bar. Okay, so making a bronze sword would be a good start. Okay, let's go and get an upgrade kit and make a bronze sword. Because I've got access to ruins now, which is uh, really cool. I feel like I've unlocked most of the things that, that I need for getting stuff, you know. Apart from the really high level metals. I've, you know, I've got the, the rocks in the collapsed wasteland and... I've got access to iron and things like that now, so it's, it's much better. My sister's a new share of birthday. Hello, Tobes. My man, Tobes. Did you hear about the big thieves in town? Scary, huh? I'm gonna go find them and beat them up good. Don't sound too scared, Toby, do you really? No. Right, it was just one upgrade kit, I'm pretty sure, for the sword. Ma, sorry to interrupt your yoga, but how you doing, mate? I've been real careful ever since I heard there might be a thief around. So is everyone, apparently. No, oh, maybe... Uh, do I have a bar of anything for you? Yeah, yeah, you can have a copper bar. There you go. Yeah. Oh, my goodness! Ah, oh, she's finally going to speak to me about scraps, I think. Oh, hi, Sheila. Is everything all right? I'm a little worried about the dog on this poster. He used to hang around Central Plaza. Everyone fed him, so we all called him Scraps. Then one day, he just disappeared. It's been a while, and I've heard nothing. I've looked everywhere, but Porsche is such a big place. Hey, can you help me look as well? The more eyes, the better, right? Sure. Thank you. Right, I think we should start by asking around. Maybe someone's seen him. Aw. I think I had to unlock the access to the collapsed wasteland before that would uh, come up. And that totally makes sense, right? Hello. Mm, I think I heard barking when I was patrolling the collapsed wasteland. I went looking, but I didn't find anything. Maybe you can go take a second look. All right. All right. I did ask around, apparently. And Arlo was apparently the right person to ask, and he was, like, right there. Oh, funny. Hey, Lucy. I hope they catch the thief soon. I don't want any danger near my kids. She's very protective. Oh, that's really cute. Hi, Jack. 
I want to do well in school so I can open my own business one day. I didn't know so much about Jack. They've added a bit more fleshing out to his character. He's got a very like studious little uh, little brain there. I need to catch those catfish for Mars as well. This is looking a lot nicer. Long here, maybe instead. I want all the furnaces to be kind of close to each other. That's all I'm really worried about at the moment with them. Ah, stay put. I just want them to be fairly close together so that I can deal with them all at the same time. But that's a little bit nicer because they're not all just like crammed in behind the house. They're just beside the house. I mean, it looks like a fifth one might look nice. I still have to get an engine though, so I need my sword. So let's make the sword then, shall we? Bronze sword, craft, go. It's very nice. Empty my inventory out. My inventory is very full right now. A couple of things to go in the miscellaneous pile as well. I think I can leave those things and I need to keep topaz there. Other than that, I'm happy with everything else that's in there. Cool. So now let's go and see if we can find Ginger. I have no idea where she is right now. Probably up there. All right, okay. Still in her house, I think. She normally comes out for a walk around this time, you see. Because I'm a bit worried that uh, Ginger will run away. Well, so the time limit will run out. Ginger isn't going to run away. What are we talking about? Yeah, the, the time limit will run out before I have a chance to give her the stuff. Topaz. And then I will miss out on that completely. So, looks like she's still at home. Ah, awesome. Ginger, Hello. your friend is here visiting you. Thanks for coming. That's all right. I wanted to come visit you, but my condition doesn't allow me to go outside much. I also didn't want to bother you at night. It's not a problem. Here's the topaz you wanted. Thank you. What do you need these for? Well, I have a lot of free time, so I do handicrafts. I can't go out and get my own materials, so I'm always depending on everyone to help. Oh, right. Here's your pay. I don't say don't worry about it. If you need any help in future, just ask. Thank you very much. But I insist. Plus 20. But I wonder if I'd have got less uh, points with her socially if I had asked for the money. Interesting, huh? If anyone's done the other, the other way, then let me know. Ginger is so close to being not a stranger anymore. Oh, amazing. Gus, have I spoken to you That's today? Sunday fireside. Makes me sleepy. It makes everyone sleepy. Yeah, he's already had a gift today. Ginger, come back. I want to talk to you. Still got two points of talking to do, and we've got sparring points we can do as well. Hey, people in Porsche are all very simple and friendly folks. Okay, let's have a fight. So I'm thinking now I'll probably be a lot better at fighting Gus. I ran out of time last time I tried, but I should have way better fighting skills at this point. And got 40 more seconds to get him down to nothing. What I do for points with Ginger, I don't know. Ginger's there like... Yay! People are fighting over me! <laughs> I think she's cheering on Gust, probably. You got lucky there. Relationship plus one with Gust. Right, so the second one I do will be just with Gust. 
Third one will be Gustum Rosso. I can try the Gustum Rosso one. See if I'm up to it. This is a level 23 gust. A bit rougher now. Not that I care, I just keep going. The only problem will be if I run out of time. Just don't give him time to punch you, basically. Just button mash. If you've ever done Tekken as a kid, you know what I mean. That's the way my sister would beat me anyway. It'll be a lot faster when I'm better at relationship plus one with Gust. No ginger relationship. Now, isn't that interesting? Or did I accidentally spar with Gust? I'll try that again sometime, but... No, I'm going to try one more spar with Ginger. Sorry, I didn't mean to punch... Uh, to throw a run into you. Oh no, I must have accidentally sparred with Gus. That's what it is. Ginger's only level 6, but you're still fighting Gus as if he's level 23. Luckily, Gus likes fighting, so it's good. Beating Gust up a lot today. <laughs> yeah, I've still not found any way to get uh, any relationship with Higgins. I believe it's just coded, hard coded into the game that you can't get any relationship points with Higgins. If anyone, no one has ever, when I've said this, come back and said, I got a relationship point with Higgins either. So if you have, let me know. Woohoo! Relationship with Ginger, finally. Okay. But only one. So if I try and spar with Russo, oh. we'll see if I'm up to it. This is, a, this is a harder one. Is winning really that important to you? Not really, but... Russo is a difficult one. I need to go for Gust. both of them at once. Woof! Russo knocked me out. I've still got plus one relationship with Ginger though, so that's quite useful to know. I tried my best! Okay, so I've got my uh, dark coffee table commission. Who's that for? I've forgotten. Lee, okay. Well, we'll make it and we'll see if we can find Lee. Sometimes he's around later at night, but not always. And then I think I'll probably go into the uh, hazardous ruins and see if I can get myself an engine. Got my copper pipes now. Wonderful. Dark coffee table for me. So, where are you, Lee? Ah, right in the town. Nice one. You might even actually just be at Django's. Oh, he's in the happy apartments. Okay, so that's a no-go. So, I'm going to head on down. Oh, roasted meat off someone. Nice. Extra help. I want to talk to everyone. Although having a thief around town is good for our business, it's not so good for the town. Oh yeah, journalism. Okay, it means interesting stories. Like I say, Samuel, well, you could be a builder specialising in metalwork. Just no... It's just got no... Uh, imagination about what he could be so you know i'm good with metal objects so i'll be a barber be careful i will 
This is going to be interesting because I'm going to actually have to try this time. Really try. Mind you, compared to that fight with Russo, sparring is quite cool because you, you can try it and it doesn't really do anything to you if you lose. Like I say, it was actually a positive outcome even though I lost that one. Because Russo is really hard to beat. Russo is like level 50. So even though it says level level uh, 6, it's you might go into that thinking, oh yeah, I'm, I'm beating Ginger. Ginger is level 6. Gus is level 23. And Russo is like level 50. Around that level anyway. Not I can't remember exactly, but he's around that level. So you're going to lose if you're like level 50, pretty much. But compared to him, these plier ribs are going to be dead easy. Hello, plier ribs. Slow gooey? Oh no. Okay, they're all dead. Nice. Lost 25 health points. That's not so bad. You get like three goes in here. Level one is quite, quite easy. It's got five floors to it. Okay. But most of them are quite, quite small. Just don't let them surround you. Keep going. And you should be fine. Because the fact you've got three goes means you've effectively got yourself, um, you know, 1,500, 1,200 or so points. Don't let the jump down from the plier imp in here make you step on the pressure pad. Because a boulder will fall on your face and then you'll struggle. You're poisoning me, which is a bit of an annoyance. Bit of a nuisance. However, I am at the point now where I might actually be able to make some shot for my slingshot. I'll have to see about that. But we can open all these lovely chests and get all the lovely jubbly loot out of us. I fully expect not to make it through here in one go. There's my engine. Very nice. Thank you very much. Even if I make it, don't make it out of here, I've now got my engine, so I'm happy. It's a bit like in Seven Days to Die, though. The, the worst ones are always the ones in close quarters. Ah, right, okay, this is good, because this is one that, as long as I take it slowly, I shouldn't lose any health points. Shouldn't being the operative word there. Doesn't mean it won't, but shouldn't. It's basically just a little jumping puzzle. No enemies. Pure loot. It annoys me later on, though, because I'm like, oh, I'd rather just fight something. Oh, another engine. Nice, so I can keep them for any commissions that come up that require engines at this point, because I've got all the ones I need for the DD cars. Uh, actually, I think I need to go down this way. And then sprint over there. managed to not really either not take any or not too much damage uh, with that little bit there but I always just clip the edge there with that one so that was easy this is the rollerball one so you just hide behind the little doofers wait for the rolly ball Pop around. Wait for the rolly ball. Grab that. Ouch. Get hit by the rolly ball. Like a noob. That actually, because I was looking at it as if they would. Oh, I see what happens. Yeah, this goes over to the edge. And you go up here. And you fight all the jump dancers first. The slow gooey won't come after you. The jump dancers do, and they're poisonous. I mean, ages I've actually had to think going through here. 
And another small engine. Wow, well, small engine city in here, isn't it? Swords are suitable for beginners. I quite like the Nova sword myself, but oh well. See how we do against this guy then. I might just be slightly too low level anyway, but I didn't have much health left there. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can eat or anything to help me out. So, extra defense from a lemonade. I can get 18% uh, max HP. Mm, that's all right. I notice there's timers on the cooking now as well. Spicy fish soup for stamina. 45 defense. Gonna eat one of your bacon fish rolls. But I do need some slightly better armor as well. Poison antidote would be the best thing for this. to get through this. Ow. Stuck on the box. Not good, not good, not good. There's something I had here that did a lot of... Thank you, fishing contest. Ow. I know, if I was better at this, I would uh, not have to use so much in the way of consumables, but I'm not, so... Some of the other ones I'm way better at. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I used stuff up for that. Uh. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave at this point. I'm going to get myself some slightly better gear and come back. I am, yes, I am level 15, but my clothing is dire. Um, if you look at this, it's giving me extra 80 defense. Yes, but I have no clothing on. I have no hat. The hat usually gives you an extra 100 HP, for example. So I'm a bit like, eh. I've got two engines, don't really need to be here. Definitely work on some better clothing and just to, I might actually uh, start using some projectile weapons as well. So I might have a look at slingshot ammo because I've got a slingshot. Found it in the happy apartments. If any of you want to get a slingshot, if you you were like, what is an early projectile? I don't have gun yet. I don't have a gun. I can't make one. What else can I do? What else can I make? Well, early game, you have a slingshot, but I'm going to work out in the morning. <laughs> whether I can make slingshot ammo. Okay, so I think today's job is going to be the removable battery now, isn't it? Oh, I couldn't hand in that coffee table before, so we'll have to go get another commission. Oh, it's you two. How do you, new citizen? I am Agent T, and this is my partner, Agent H. We are part of the Free Cities Debt Collection Agency. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Hassan Tass. Can I help you? 
Yes, it has come to our attention that you are the offspring of the former owner of this workshop. Is that correct? I am. What is it? Oh, good. Your father accrued 50,000 golds in debt from his business. So if you cannot find him, the debt has fallen to you. That's his closest kin. Because I'm a nice guy, I'll give you a week to come up with the money. If you don't pay up, we'll take this house as collateral. If you try to run, we'll inform the civil court. That's all. You have a good day now. Come on, Agent H. Let's go. What should I do? Maybe I should go talk with the mayor. That would be a good idea, I think. We'll go and talk to, Ma to Mayor Gale, and then we'll have a look at what we need for this removable battery. Oh, Lee, there you go. There's your commission. We've still got time to get into the Commerce Guild, and then speak to Mayor Gale, and then see about this removable battery. And it looks like all my quests are, are on are on schedule now. Um, the fact that I did the DD cars in the time where I was waiting for things to be a bit more fixed with the, the quests just means that I'm ahead on that. Would have to do it eventually anyway. In we go! So, uh, copper blades, 11, 16... 14. Take the, the most points, social points. This is a very social playthrough. Alan Carter's is only 400 points ahead of us now. I reckon we could have that in a week's time. Especially if we get on with the main quests. They're, they're what's going to push me forward. So I think the workshop ranking is now just um, based on your total points of reputation. Which makes a bit more sense. I think that's what it's based on anyway. Alright, so let's have a look. Oh yes, first thing I can do is finish off this last DD car with one of the engines I got. Awesome. And then what we can do is to go... Let's retrieve, I don't want to pick it up. Um, hopefully when we do the Amber Island Cave, which I think is a slightly easier one than defeating the boss in the ruins. Um, so once we've done that, we can gear up a little bit. And I also need to make myself some trousers, because like, why haven't I got trousers? Come on. <laughs> I've got so much money, I haven't even bought myself any trousers. Most because so far I've not been fighting, so I've not really needed to be geared up. That's the reason, to be honest. Um, battery, removable battery, removable battery. Three marble, three power stone, eight bronze bars, and two springs, which are found in the abandoned ruins too. I don't know if I have springs, but we'll have a look. Should have the rest. I should have the rest. The springs I have not seen. Oh, because it's abandoned ruins too stuff. Right. Well then, we'll speak to the mayor on the way past, and then we'll go into the abandoned ruins too. I'll just quickly sort out my inventory. Don't need that. Don't need mucus. Don't need these copper coils. I'll stick them in the metal chest just because there's no room anywhere else. So the metal chest will eventually have to be expanded into metal and uh, like a parts chest, but at the moment we're good. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out this slingshot, if I could make slingshot ammo. I want to know. Didn't think it would be under that cache. It's not going to be under food. Doubt it'll be under furniture, but I will double check. It's most likely to be here. The other place it might be is the grinder. It's like a, it's like a ball bearing thing, isn't it? 
we have a look at the slingshot itself? It's not as good as my bronze uh, sword by a long way. But I honestly think it's the fact that my like defense is really low as well. It really doesn't help. I don't have a hat for extra extra hit points, and I don't have this. And there's also extra hit point things that I can put into my house once I dig them up. So there's a lot of ways that I can increase that and uh, help myself a bit. And the other thing is, I can just stuff myself full of uh, consumables too. I'll make some more copper bars. And I'll try and go find some springs. Did I just craft one? Okay. Craft and completed. Ten. Fuel depleted. Okay, all done. Did that one have enough fuel? No. Can I refuel it? No. Must have run out of wood. But I still think I'm going to head up to the ruins and try and find springs anyway. Because I'm a rebel. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Given Petra the data discs. I really need to do that, otherwise she's gonna... I'm gonna be really, really behind on things that I need to make things for my commissions, and it's gonna be a problem. So, I'm alright at the moment. I have the civil furnace, and that's great. But I'm gonna need all the upgraded cutters and everything. And I've not got any of them yet. Hey, Petra. Hello. Research. Hi. Did you discover something new? Five data. That discs. should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. The more data, the faster we work. The data corruption on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. There's so much mining that I'm quite happy to do expedited stuff. Mind you, if it's something that was going to take one day anyway, it's like uh, I've wasted them, but I don't know what she's going to find, so, and how long it's going to take. But if I'm doing a lot of mining, I'm going to be finding a lot of data disks. I was at one point just selling things off the back of the data disks. I'll show you what I was doing. I was going into here. Buying these, so buy one irrigation flooring per thing, uh, per data disc, and then sell the irrigation flooring. You can't directly sell the data disc, but you can sell the things you get with them. Same with planters as well, large planter boxes and irrigation flooring. Um, it all depends really on the prices of them, obviously. I think the planter boxes were better value. So I think I used to max them out and then get the irrigation flooring if I had some left over. So I had such a surplus of data disks that that was what I did to just make a bit of extra cash. Hey Sam. Okay, so I haven't done much digging around for relics or anything like that in the abandoned rooms too yet. All I've really done is pop in here and get some iron. So that's why I was like, what do you mean I've got no springs? And I was like, well, I suppose I haven't actually looked for any yet. So we'll do that. We'll get the battery in and then we'll get these DDs done. Forgotten about the removable battery quest. You know, it was right in between. Very irritating that I've got to do that too. Okay, I'm hoping this will be springs. It probably will be something different though. It's an eyeglass. Okay, so now I'm down here. What can I see? Uh, there's one. Are you a spring? 
This is where Mars just sells springs or something. I actually haven't even checked whether he does. He, why have I got the feeling that he does? Oh, this is a horrible feeling. But I've still got time to check. Mind you, when I'm in here, I'm finding other things that are all super useful. Extra data disks. You no, know, more, more eyeglasses. Why do I need so many eyeglasses? Ah! Why is there no more spots? Ah, that's one. Wonderful. It's another eyeglass. If I get another eyeglass, I'm actually getting out of here and I'm going to... Um, I'm getting out of here and I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to do this now, actually. I'm going to go change it over. Really? Like, how many eyeglasses have I just found in a row? Ah, it's getting really... I also want to see whether I can upgrade my scanner when I uh, click on the thing. I want the scanner that I can get three with if possible, but it might not let me. Let me switch. I think this, this might be a scanner thing. I'm not sure, or it might just be on here. One of them. Do you know, while I'm out of here, why don't I just go and check? Because I would feel like such a fool if uh, Mars actually sold them. And it's just the sort of thing that might be true. Do you sell springs? No. Okay. Good to know. Very good to know. Holy, do you sell springs? Just in case. Now, out of all of them, I'm almost certain that the only one that would have sold springs would be uh, Mars. So, I, unless unless they sell them in A and G, but generally, I don't think they sell components. Oh, let's talk to the mayor as well. That collector's agency. Huh. There is such a thing, but I didn't know your father had any debt. Why don't you do this? Next time, have them come to me first so that we can work something out. You've been working hard. Portia will be behind you all the way. Okay. You should also have a talk with Martha. She had to deal with some debt when uh, her husband passed. Maybe she can give you some legal pointers. Okay, we'll go see Martha. I'll spend the evening looking for springs. Once everyone's gone to bed. Oh, where is Martha today then? It's a Tuesday. She's apparently over the other side of the plaza, maybe having her lunch or something. Ah, she wants to listen to Lee and, uh, and Nora. I'm so sorry to hear you're dealing with your father's debt. But from what I remember, he didn't seem like the type he'd be in debt. Anyway, I've dealt with the debt agency before. The point man around Portia is actually Mr. Isaac, so they're very easy to deal with and very fair. Don't worry too much. Mr. Isaac? That wasn't who came to see me. Isaac? That's not who approached me. That can't be right. Unless something happened I'm not aware of, Mr. Isaac should still be the sole representative in our town. Maybe you should talk with him. Just set the record straight, I reckon. Now, where did my cooking pot go? <sighs> Toby must have taken it on some <laughs> misadventure again. Toby. I'm going to ask him. Toby. May as well have a chat to everyone while I'm here. Have you ever heard of the story about the dancing... No one wants to know about your robot story. <laughs> sorry, that was rude. I'm sorry, Lee. 
I thought that Portia was a boring place compared to Atara. Boy, I was wrong. I love this place. I'm sure that should be Atara. Okay, so now I've done that, I want to talk to Mr. Isaac. Who will be here? That was actually a really easy way to go around. Aha, uh -huh. cool. Shortcut. What are you yapping about? Your father didn't have any debt. Heck, I'd even classify him as a penny pincher during his time here. Whoever came to you wasn't from the debt agency. They called themselves Agent T and H. Tuss and Huss. Those two buffoons are at it again. Come again? Those two idiots are brothers from around Portia. They're bandits, or at least they try to be. They make some trouble now and then, but they're mostly just a pair of imbeciles. What should I do? Well, I'd ignore them, but that's just me. Maybe you can have the civil call do something about it. Someone took my favourite book while I was out for a walk. I'll never forgive. Oh, Isaac. Right, so I need to speak with the civil call. Someone in the civil call. Hello, or Sam, or anyone. We need some help. Remy, you gotta help me. Hello. That's a new high for them, as far as planning goes. A week's time, huh? We'll see about that. I'm missing a pair of old shoes. Did Sam toss them? She did say they smell. <laughs> oh no! Sam wouldn't have thrown your shoes away without asking. <laughs> she did say they smelled. Oh, poor Remington. I feel really bad for him. Okay, I still don't have the hardwood planks for the school though. I need to get them pronto. Because it's still Tuesday, so it's not like it's a weekend. It's not like I can slack off. And then I need to get the springs. I may have um, hardwood. Oh, do I have to speak to Sam as well? Those two again? When will they give up? Don't worry, the Civil Corps will send someone over in time to deal with this. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Huss and Tuss. Seems like I'm gonna just always need hardwood planks right now. I only have four. I've got 36 hardwood though, so let's go and make some more. I may have to hand that in in the morning. I'm going to need to cut down some more hardwood trees as well. As well as finding my springs. What else do I need for this battery then? Is it only the... Yeah, it really is only the springs that I need to find at the moment. So, off we go back to the ruins. Oh. Yeah, all sorts of stuff in my inventory now. That should be enough room. So what I need to do is take my big old supply of herbs into the ruins with me as well, into the uh, the hazardous ruins. I mean, because I'm level 15, so I should be high enough level to get through it. It's just I think my gear might be a little bit under leveled, and I might not have quite enough in the way of consumables. There is a way to, to get through that by like rolling back, but I haven't quite got the technique with that one. A lot of the higher level bosses I managed to work out a technique for. Not that one. Mm-hmm, let's have a new area. The heart knot re represents a confession of love. Well, I'm not good enough friends with anybody to be in love with them yet. Quite nice that this goes straight through an iron vein. Lots of iron for me. Please be a spring. Simple circuits. Okay, it's not a spring. If I don't manage to get one by the end of the episode, I'll go and see if they they are sold anywhere. 
If not, we'll just have to carry on mining away for them. Getting further and further behind here gets really more eyeglasses. This is like the curse of the eyeglasses. This is not what I need right now. Okay? Okay, game. Not what I need. So, oh, we're getting soldier relics and all sorts now. Alright then. Um, there's one right up there. One right up there. Can I see if I can get out? Because if I can get out, then I can I can see them more easily. Oh, there's one there too. Okay. Guess what? Guess what that is? It's an eyeglass. Oh my goodness. I, I needed more eyeglasses. <laughs> Did not need any more eyeglasses. I don't know whether I'll even be able to see them again by the time I get back to the top. Oh well, I'm going to go back to the entrance. See what else I can see. Yeah, I can see them from up here, and I couldn't see anything from when I was scanning around here before. So there are things definitely showing up. As I dig, but I don't know why that would be. Right, lubricant. I'm going to probably need loads of that later, but I don't need it right now. giant bucket. Again, something I'm going to need later, but not right now. A washing machine. I could put that in my house. I think that gives me some stats. Springs, though. My goodness me. Okay, there's my first spring. I need two. I keep digging long enough, I'll find them, but it, it might take a second day's worth of digging. Like I say, I forgot about the removable battery. Mind you, as I say, I wanted to make sure that I handed the quest for the Amber Island Bridge in on a Saturday. Three springs? In that box? Wow, I've got four now. It's like buses. Just like buses. So I should, if I'm really quick getting back to my house, which I can be if I want, be able to put most of that together. So next episode, we'll have that in. And then probably the DDs started. Which will be incredibly good. Come on, Sheila, we've got an hour. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. I don't think it's going to be long enough to do it. I'll get the spring on at least. Okay, spring. What else, what else, what else? Power stone. We always have power stones somewhere. Um, bronze bar and marble. Do I have any bronze bars? No, do I have any marble? No. Just checking my box. Loads of marble. Quite a few bronze bars. Is 
See, we're gonna fly through this stuff now. Honestly, we are. I promise. Me and my removable battery. Yes. Removable battery for me, so. I do have enough hardwood planks now for my commission, but it's probably too late to hand that in because it's five minutes before I'm going to pass out. Let me just put those in there, please, so I've got them next time. So I've got them ready to hand in. Uh, I've got to speak to Arlo still about the Hustle and Test situation and then go and do the Amber Island Cave. But that's all tons of cool stuff that we can do next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Porsche, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.